better than he ever imagined. That's what Shreveport's hometown hero, William Joyce, told KSLA's Bisky Duncan when she spoke to him about his most recent award, a lifetime achievement from the Society of Illustrators. Tonight, Bisky Duncan sits down with Joyce to talk about his journey, his awards, and his most recent project. It's a really nice list and, you know, it's really nice to be on it. Shreveport native William Joyce visited New York last week for a full circle moment. Contemporary artist goes to William Joyce. Receiving a Lifetime Achievement Award from the group that helped start his journey as an illustrator, author, and filmmaker, the Society of Illustrators. You know, I was just like, man. This is, this is really happening. Joyce is no stranger to big wins. An Academy Award, a desk full of Emmys, and don't forget about the Annies, too. He's been busy since his first visit to the Society of Illustrators in 1981. All those years ago, the, at the very beginning of my career, now I'm going back and, and, you know, getting this award from those guys. It's just cool. He credits much of his success to an instant kinship with an editor named Oli Rissom. It takes one person with the power to say yes, to say yes at the right time, and you'll get a ton of no's. But if you wait long enough, you got a real shot at getting a yes. That one yes opened the door, and the creativity of William Joyce leapt into the world. Works like Roly Poly Oli, George Shrinks, the fantastic flying books of Mr. Morris Lessmore, Lost Ollie, and countless more poured out and brought color and joy to pages and screens for audiences of all ages, not just the kids. I've never thought of these as children's stories. I think of them as just stories. I think they challenge the adult. I, I like to say I write for the child and every adult and the adult and every child. Throughout his entire adventure, William Joyce has stayed true to his hometown of Shreveport, opening Moonbot Studios in 2009 and sticking around after they close their doors. Even when success continues to flow from his fingertips, Joyce says it's simple. Shreveport is home. Home is a big part of the stories I tell, and the power of that idea of home is very powerful to me. Your town's very proud of you. Very, this this very town proud has been you. very supportive since I was a little kid. That's another reason why I stick around. I mean, it's all through my life there have been mentors or grown-ups or people with influence and intellect that that said hey i think you got something kid i mean they gave us a ticker tape parade <laughs> okay the town gave us a ticker tape parade the first one since the end of world war ii okay and joyce's type of working from home seems to keep paying off He's also up for 10 more Emmy nominations for Lost Ollie, which you can find on Netflix. Surrounded by the illustrations and the Emmys and talking about his current project, Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, I had to ask Joyce if this was how he thought his life would go. It's even better than I imagined. Joyce says while he doesn't have a favorite amongst his works, Gatsby does have a special connection for him. It certainly harkens back to my my youth, I mean, it's a, it's a book I read when I was in a freshman in high school, and it changed my life. It changed the way I thought about adulthood. There's a line in it that, that, see, that spoke to me, and it still does, that Gatsby had a romantic readiness about him, the likes of which uh, the narrator had never, never seen before and never expected to see again, and an optimism and a hope. And that really struck a chord for me, and I guess I still have that. I asked Joyce what his process is like for illustrating something so impactful to him that's also been done so many different times. Okay, so it's, it's hard to describe, and it always will be, and you just have to wait and see if I manage to pull it off. <laughs> While we're watching and waiting for The Great Gatsby, Joyce left us with a little wisdom for the artist in all of us. It is hard, and you will get discouraged. You gotta keep like an open mind and keep learning. I spend so much of my life reading and watching and studying and absorbing stories and all the ways that they're told. And I think that's important. And each piece that succeeds or fails will show you what you should or shouldn't do, and it will help guide you 
So you should never stay static. You should just keep filling your head with whatever it is will help. And, and it's a wonderful way to keep fresh, I think. Inch Report, Bisky Duncan, KSLA News 12.